So um, but anyways, so uh, since we you know we are all music life and love, I do have to ask y'all music question. <laughs> Here we go. Between both of y'all, Here we go. Top three artists. <laughs> Get feisty up Top here. three go. artists, excluding me. I'm not in terms of I'm not giving my um my top three artists, but I just want to know who are you guys top three artists. Ladies first. Ladies first. Oh, there we go. The man. Um, my top three. Just top three. It's on your playlist. You know, obviously. We obviously know who number one is here. No, we don't. Aubrey Drake Graham, you know. Oh, my oh. God. Full name is crazy. You know. Drizzy? And then. Full name is crazy. Nicki Minaj, of course. Number two. Dang. Okay. And this is in no order. Actually, no, I'll put it in order, yeah. You showing your age. And then, um, not too much. <laughs> you showing your age. And then number three, maybe like Chris Brown, Summer Walker. R&B, okay. Yeah. Summer Walker. Yeah, because it may be. All right, Chris, what you got? What you Chris got? Brown is crazy. No, Chris Brown is good. He's a legend. Chris Brown in the top three list of favorite, what, artists? Yeah, just artists. Yeah, artists. artists. I'm sorry. Artists, I, I'm sorry. I should have said artists. Top oh, three what was artists. the question? Rappers? I, I messed up. Top three artists, because this is music. Artists. Okay. So, artists. Then, yeah, that's my three. Chris Brown is crazy. I, I ain't never hear that before. <laughs> I'm going to keep it a buck. I mean, you that's fine. Said. He's very artistic, though. He could dance. He could rap. He could sing. He know how to put on great shows. That's an artist. Like, you could have said Wayne. You could have said Future. You could. I don't said really Young like Future. Thug. I don't really like Young Thug either. I mean, they Chris cool, crazy. but they're not my top three. could have said Tory Lanez. I feel like, and you know, he might see this one day, but I'm going to say what I'm going to say. I feel like Future is the biggest bluffer I know. Oh, biggest bluffer. Like, that man rap about doing codeine, lean, Percocet, Smiley, and probably don't even do half of the stuff that he be rapping about. Like, literally. He do. How do you know? You can see he has a pot belly. He has a lean belly. How do you know? What? How do you know that's skinny, off lean listen, or whatever he is? Listen, whenever a skinny dude has a, lean, a pot belly <laughs> like that, either they genetics or... They doing some type of lean. We could do some research. I'm pretty we sure. Look it I'm up. pretty sure he's probably done it before. I, I thought she's gonna say he's a bluffer. When I it think comes to women. Oh, I don't know what he does with women. That's not really. Oh well, nobody he, he raps really, about it. That's nobody not really, really knows, knows my business. But I mean, a legend. I'm pretty sure he's done those drugs before. But on a regular, I think he's lying. Yeah, probably. I think he's bluffing. I think a lot of rappers before. put on. They have to put on a personal image. For sure. But so, what would you say your top three are? This is no order. Mm -hmm. I'm just go Dirk. Valid. Right now, right? Valid. I'm going to go Dirk, Future. And I'm mixed between Baby and No Cap. I don't know. Because No Cap is lyrical. Mm -hmm. But Baby's lyrical, too. A little Baby, right? Just you to should clarify. have the top five. I like a I, like the reason, five. But I know. I, I gave I three. Put Uzi. I feel like because put a boogie. I could have put. Yeah. Oh well, I mean, yeah. I just wanted to see your top three versus his top three and see who I could debate about. Because you said Drake. Yeah, I can't I, put Drake in my top three. How oh. do you not put Drake in your top three or top five? Maybe at I least can't top put Drake five. in my top three because he has ghost writers. Oh. A lot of rappers have ghost writers, but. I can't argue that down because I don't know if he does or if he doesn't. I just know so many rappers that'll eat him alive. Dirk Dirk has ghostwriters too? I'm asking. I'm not, nah. I don't know. Not that's known of. And then if you're going to have ghostwriters, at least don't let it get known. Like, okay. He just. I mean, I feel like everybody has help nowadays. It is what it is. Then I could have put Gunna. It's just. Oh Drake, my God. That guy. I feel like your your age is showing with these artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. No, and you're and you're. Uh, I could go, go back. I could go back. I could go back. Go back. I could yeah. do Lil Wayne. Future is old too. Yeah. Do Young Thug. I'm trying to think. Young Thug, yeah, you could. Yeah, Young Thug, he's hard. So top three, I'm gonna go Dirk, Dirk, Baby, and Future. Okay. I th I, I, th I think I think uh, Dirk and Baby, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like now now it's neck and neck. Yeah, but not yeah, before because it would have been Baby. You know what I'm saying? He, I think he would have been high. Yeah, before it probably was Baby. 
But in did it, terms who, of who, who came out? Who came out first? I think Baby, Dirk, right? Yeah. Or no, no, no. Oh, okay. Actually, it was Dirk definitely Dirk. It was definitely Dirk. Dirk. Who, who hit commercial status first? Like, like they song. Was... Baby. Yeah, little okay. baby. Because but Dirk was out before. Dirk was out before him, but okay. Dirk kind of rid that Chicago wave with mm-hmm. King Von oh. and 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 Chief Keef and them. Okay. He kind of rid that wave. That's how he kind of started going up more than he was, because he was still kind of up. Right. Dirk, right? Like he made that one song with Days Loaf. Yeah, I feel like Beyonce. he took a little high. high oh, after that. I forgot about that, that song with Days Loaf. What, he made what happened that to her? Twenty fifteen. I don't know, but she need to come back out because I feel like she's really good. Yeah, she's a really good artist. I feel like. In my I, she got her little melodies and whatnot. I love, I love yeah. Days Loaf. I feel like she's very influential. Like, I feel like Coyle Ray sound like Days Loaf. Mm. A lot of yeah, people I could hear sound that. like Days Loaf. Oh, okay, I feel like people have used her sound more. Nowadays, y'all got okay. So y'all got any um like like female MCs or any 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 women that rap that you would like put up there? Maybe top I could go. Three? I could do singers. Okay, that's fine. I could do singers. Aaliyah. Uh huh. Oh, he's hard. Showing your age now. <laughs> yeah, Aaliyah, Aaliyah, she's hard. Okay. Uh, Beyonce, obviously. You could go Summer Walker, Jenna Aiko. Yeah, Summer Walker. Rihanna. SZA, I, I don't know. I'm like SZA and Summer Walker. They like the same person to me. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. The I styles. Just, I swear they like the same person. Like I see right. them and they like the same person. Mm-hmm. So I don't know, but definitely Jenna Aiko, Summer Walker. Okay. And yeah, Beyonce, Aaliyah. So I'm a, my favorites. I'm gonna ask y'all if you had to put a top five, yeah, top five rappers as if they were going against another top five. Who's your top five that you're putting against her top five? I'll let ladies go first. All right, so go ahead. <laughs> Pick a top five rappers, just rappers. Dead or alive or just alive? Come on, let's just do alive so that way they can play. <laughs> <laughs> that way they can play. Alive, okay, alive. Uh, little Baby for sure. That's number, all right, that's number one. Um, Lil Wayne. That's two. Um... This is a tricky question. Now nah, you gotta think about this one. It's a tricky question. Little baby Lil Wayne. Yeah. Um, two Lil's. Rappers, rappers. I put takeoff up there too. I mean, he's not alive no more, but I definitely put that's take fine. off up there. All right, cool. Take off. Um That's 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 swag right there. Go ahead. I mean, so is Lil Wayne. Uh, who else? I'm trying to like think of all the rappers. It's so many rappers. I'm trying yeah, to Yeah, but like, but you gotta like head. structure your team right. Right? You know. Cause I don't know who he gonna pull out the bag. Nah, Chris is gonna definitely put. He gonna put some lyricists on the outs outskirts, like on the left and the right, and then everybody else in the middle. I feel like I would have to put Drake on the bench for this one because he got lyricism, oh, but like if it come to like if it get real, now. if don't it get switch real, now. Yeah. like keep keep your star player know. on the court. Don't switch now because he's playing a heavy team. Drake, don't switch. but Drake don't make switch. Drake don't rap like Lil Wayne and Lil Baby. And oh, them. okay. He don't rap like them, so it's like he I can't even put him in the category with them because he's on a whole different like he just different. So, um, okay, what did I say? Lil Wayne, Lil Baby, take off. That's two. Um, two more. Just got two more. We're not doing no bench players. Uh. I mean, you got Kanye in there. You got oh uh, right, all of them. You mentioned okay. NLE. You mentioned I would not. Heck no, I would never put NLE up there with them. Um, Ish, you're bugging. Yeah, I would, but I'm I not would. gonna say anything. I'm gonna put Young Boy up there. Okay, perfect. Young Boy, definitely. You, you definitely want to have him there. Definitely, Young Boy. That's my cool. last one. I would put. Uh, I'm putting Nicki Minaj up there. I don't care if she. That's fine. Girl. I'm putting That's Nicki cool. up. There. That's a good top five right there. Okay. That's actually a, pretty, it was a really solid top five. Thank you. So let's just go over it real quick. Lil Baby, mm-hmm. Lil Wayne, mm-hmm. Nicki Minaj, mm-hmm. Drake. Other two. Oh, no, you said no Drake. Said no Drake. Drake. Uh, young Boy. Young Boy. And Take Off. And Take Off. Wow. So I'm going to start off for Lil Wayne. It's really nobody, but I guess the closest that could be there with him. Probably have to be J. Cole. I, yeah, I was, I would, I was I would just have, thinking that like that. I would have said Eminem, but that's not kind of my taste. Mm-hmm. So I'm just going to leave that where that's at for whoever. Y'all to debate about that. Right. But um, 
I'm gonna put J. Cole. You didn't say Lil Durk, so I'm gonna put Lil Durk. Mm-hmm. No cat. He's very underrated, very lyrical. Is he newer? Is he No he, Cat? He's kinda he's kinda okay. newer. You gotta listen to him. He's yeah, really I, I've never heard him. Mm-hmm. But I'm gonna listen now. His he's very lyrical. You gotta listen to him. Like you know it's crazy when Wello, my grandfather, oh, that was- <laughs> my grandfather, he's old school. Yeah. And he messed with him. He was like, Oh yeah, he's he's lyrical. Mm-hmm. So no cap for sure. J. Cole, Lil Dirk. I got two more. I'ma throw Uzi up there. And I'ma throw Future and balance that out. Okay. That's a good start. <laughs> so if as a judge, we're gonna have you judge whose top five would you go with? I think it's not fair, only because yeah, you didn't have you didn't have enough time. <laughs> but I think that number one, I didn't listen to the no, no cap. cap guy. But He's I was I was there when my dad was like the third guy <laughs> that Chris sent. Yeah, I gave it to him. He was lyrical. So if that's the guy they're talking about, then I got to give him that credit because he's a tough, mm-hmm. tough, tough critic when it comes to hip hop. Right. Because he was there when it started, right. all the way up until now. So if he gives you props, it's kind of like yeah, you kind of got it. Mm-hmm. Um, everybody else that he named. You know, they're, they're pretty solid. And, and he left off a lot. Can we give shout out to Kendrick Lamar? Because oh, I yeah, thought I about gonna, that after. I was going to say him, but J. Cole balances that up. Yeah. But I'm not going to lie. Take off, that's that's where you lose that. That's your weak link to me. Take off? Yeah, that's your weak Well, in, in terms of I, take swag off wise. Rad. Take off can rap. Take off is nice, but come on. I, if he was nice, nice, he would be up there with the others. Me he personally. Would stand out. I feel like he's overshadowed by Quavo because Quavo's the one that they put in the media. But if you nice, nice, you can't get overshadowed. But people, people would argue you down. They take off is good. Like everybody knows. No, no, no. We don't be a debate. So y'all not, y'all not taking away that takeoff is good. No, he is he's good. nice. Right. Yeah. I'm just saying. But if he's you not better than anybody on my list. No, Uzi. No, no, no. Facts. Cole, Hold up. He's not better than anybody. My on opinion list. is, is I'm with you on that. But my whole thing was. You got to pick your best five against his best five. Mm-hmm. So his best five that he just named is anybody on his five not better than Takeoff, and everybody that he just named, at, minus the new guy, right? I, which I've never heard. I don't know, mm-hmm. but I like Takeoff myself because he got swag. You know what I'm saying? His music is like his music is dope, mm-hmm. but. You know what I'm saying? Like you named some heavy hitters. You did. I think it evens out. I think that's a draw because you gotta realize you got Lil Wayne versus J. Cole. I think Wayne exits him out on that one. Then you got Young Boy, Young Boy and Dirk. They even right now. Uh they even right now. The right. Only, uh, only thing that fan base wise, Young Boy. We, we, we would have to debate that. They yeah. even right now. We have to debate that. They're even. <laughs> we gotta like you got Young Boy and Baby. That's hard to compete with. That's two faces of the franchise. We, you got the three-headed three-headed goat right now. YB, Baby, and Dirk. That's the three people that's on the top right now. So you got two of those. Then you got Lil Wayne for the older. So I don't know. If they was to all go up against each other, I would say your lineup could probably beat mine. It, it, to be honest. But hold on. But but who picked Young Boy and who picked Dirk? I picked Young Boy. He picked Dirk. I all right. Dirk. So here's the thing. If we going off of catalogs, I mean, come on, let's. Okay. So you're saying you're saying that Dirk's catalog is, I guess, his fan base appropriate because if we going off a of catalog, I think NBA kind of like edges Dirk a little bit. I'm going off of right now. Oh well, never mind. That's what I'm saying. That's I was talking about. We going right off now. of right, right now. Right. We could go off of. I was going off of right now. Okay, well, right now, then I... Yeah. is definitely yeah. killing it right now more than YB is. But YB could come out of nowhere and just drop and That's true. It. That's true. No. YB is starting to get to, like, that Drake level. Like, just for sure. drop out of nowhere and it's going to get messed with. Like, the three strongest fan bases, you got the Nicki Minaj. The Barbs. Fan, yeah. Don't play with the Barbs. The y, uh, <laughs> YB's fan base... And it's somebody else who has a really strong fan. I think maybe Drake's fan base. It's crazy because Drake don't even have a name for his fan base, but I feel like all his fans is like, well, I don't know. Because I feel like more recently I've seen like 
a good 50 50 like a lot of people like it and a lot of people don't like it mm -hmm. where like back 2016 when he was dropping like one dance and stuff like that everybody was messing with it so i think it's just yeah views 2016 that was that, that was, was a great album. album that was a great album it was a great album y'all like that one yeah the, yeah it, he always drops a good summer album What's oh that? yeah 2018 yeah. the uh nice for what Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, Scorpion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was good too. That was a good summer album. Very. I feel like those, that's very those, underrated. Yeah, those albums kind of just ride into the summer wave. Like you always got to have a certain artist that can like you could vibe out to mm -hmm. in the summer. For sure. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. All right. So we touched the music part, and now we're gonna go into the love part because everybody loves love. So. uh it can be great or it can be hurt. True. <laughs> true, true. So I got I got to ask you, you know, it's summertime. Right. You know, you got you and your boo and stuff like that. Ooh. Oh, you don't have nobody? I don't have a boo. Wait, 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 wait. Hold Wrong on, hold person. on. Hold he on. Got, he got a boo. I don't have one. Oh, but we're going to get to him in a second. Mm -hmm. But I thought you. <laughs> no, I told you a couple months ago. Um, what the situation was. You remember when we was picking Joe up from school? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you haven't recovered off of I thought because no, I, I'm 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 in, I'm a work in progress. I'm healing. Because you but said I, she's fine, y'all. Yeah. yeah, you said you had your friend over. What friend? Over That was uh, a girl. Uh, you talking about well, I mean, uh, you talking I don't know. About, it could be a girl. I don't know. I don't you know. talking about the day that I told you I woke how I woke up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was a girl. Okay, well then, well, what, look, whatever. I don't care, but but bottom line is this. Uh, bottom so line no, is, no, Raina no, don't boo, y'all, no right. boo. Not a why boo. not? I'm I'm working on myself, you know. I just got a nice long relationship. I need time to recover. Was heal. it difficult? Yeah. What was difficult about the relationship? Uh, what was what, what, what was the? What, I feel like what, I'm in a hot seat. Nah, you're not. Chris next. What was what was not? But he's good difficult about it that's the question like it was just lack of communication um, on your part or or was no it? like actually i'm not even going to say a lack of communication i feel like we talk too much so too much communication and like um and when i say too much communication i mean like on the phone all the time have to be talking all the time i don't want to do that that's, oh chris yeah it's just a lot I'm you be like, on the phone all the time? Well, you have to realize, for one, the age difference. Mm -hmm. But for two, long distance. So if I know I'm not going to see her, mm -hmm. probably I'm going to see her like once a week. This was before when she was 40 minutes away. So to make up for that, we just be on the phone. Not all the time, but pretty much most of the time. Right, like what's on the phone, what's on the phone all the time to you? <sighs> all the time is like... If I'm on the phone with you for more than a couple hours, that's on okay. the phone all the time. Yeah. Like if I'm calling you every day, that's all the time. Okay. But I could say that I'd be on the phone with a lot of people all the time. Mm -hmm. I'd be on the phone with aunt or I'd be on the game. I'd be talking, like most of the time, I'll talk more to the outside people than the actual people in the house. Right. So I guess that's just how this generation works. Yeah. I don't know how to explain it for real. I think after I stopped doing it, I realized that I was doing it too much. Like, on the phone all the time. Like, I got to call you when I'm about to leave. I got to call you when I come back. I got to... Oh, no. Nah. Like, I'm on the phone with you during the day talking about, like, about what? Nothing, really, sometimes. <laughs> like, it's just... Yeah, no. Music. Life. Love. Love. <laughs> 